I'm Paul Newlove. This is my memory lane of the first World Cup game in 1995 against Australia. World Cup favourites 4 to 1 on Australia have been beaten. And England playing what I would think a tactically superb game emerged rightfully as the winners. Uh, I was one of the top try scorers at the time. Uh, and I was playing uh, at Bradford at the time and uh, everything was going well, very well. And uh, like I say, I was one of the first choice centres. It's always uh, nervous when you're playing uh, any game, especially internationals, but to play against Australia at the Wembley, the old Wembley, uh, it's a special, it's a special uh, event. And uh, we knew that it was going to be a tough game. It was a great team. You're talking about Andy Farrell, uh, one of the best players in our, in our uh, in our country at the time. Uh, Jason Robertson, exciting uh, attacking player. You know, uh, defences hated playing against him. And uh, Sean Edwards is another one. Good organiser, try scorer. One of, again, I would say one of the best scrum halves that uh, Great Britain's produced. We, we were up for it uh, that year, you know, uh, with, a, with a clientele, uh, what we had in the, uh, you know, in his team. We, uh, we was going to either get to the final and, and win it. That's what we were talking about. Standing in the Wembley Tunnel, it, it, it's just a great feeling because you can't, you can't see the crowd. You can hear, you can hear the noise, but you, you, you're below the pitch level. So you had to walk up a little, a little bit of, of an incline and then it leveled out and then you came out into the stadium and that's when you could see, hear the noise and uh, you see the Coca-Cola signs at the far side. And, uh, and when you looked around then, you could see the supporters and the flags and the cheering. But you, you get one or two comments or shouts at the back and, you know, to come on, this is it, you know, rev it up type of thing, you know. And uh, it, it all adds to the experience and to the, to the atmosphere. I never, I never sung the National Anthem. I, I just, I stood and just took it all in, you know what I mean? Uh, that's maybe, I, I never sung it. So, so I can't say I did sing it, but in my head, it, I was going through it. But uh, I used to see, you know, see if I could uh, see uh, anybody in the crowd or, you know, and just took the atmosphere in. It was great. Steve Mendes scored the first try for the Aussies and uh, put him in, in the lead. And uh, it was 6-0 six, six until five minutes before the end of the, the first half. And uh, we put a bomb up and uh, Brasher, he, he knocked it on, he bombed it. And uh, we got a scrum uh, down in the Australian half and uh, Andy Farrell picked up the ball from the base of the scrum and uh, Sean Edwards peeled off to the left and created the overlap and he gave the little dummy did uh, Andy Farrell and uh, I thought he should have passed it but but uh, when he scored the try I think he made the, he made the right decision you know uh, but uh, he took a couple of players over with him so uh, he, did, he did well to get the ball down. Chris Joy and Mark Coyne they both scored a try apiece and they brought the scores back and then uh, we were on the uh, attack and I think it was Lee Jackson, he, he kicked the ball from acting half and it was nothing of a kick into, uh, into the right hand side of the, uh, the, of the pitch. But the chase from uh, himself and BJ, that created the, the try for Jason Robinson. The, uh, the hit on the ball from BJ as the winger brought the ball back, it was a tremendous hit. He, he hit him just right and the ball slipped out went on the floor and uh, Jason Robinson picked it up and went into the corner. Robbo was very quick. From a standing start, he, he, he was like lightning. And, uh, you know, he could sidestep off both feet. He didn't know which way he was going to go. But uh, I think his original position is a scrum half, but he made his name playing on the wings. Australia were attacking and I, and I could see they were coming over to my side. And, and, and Dimmick, I think it was Dimmick, he, he took the ball in and he got half tattled. And I knew he was going to offload it. And uh, I think it was Brasher, and I, I just got between Brasher and Dimmock, and he passed it. And I had long enough arms just to collect it and bring it down, and then I was off then. And, uh, you know, I still had a lot, lot of work to do because the, uh, the fullback was coming across really, really quick and fast. And I had enough strength to fend him off. Uh, I got him on a lovely fend, and he just, he just went down to the floor. And then uh, I was over the line then. I knew, uh, I, knew I did it. England assistant coach Andy Goodway, uh, Robinson's try was a reward for application really, wasn't it?
to score against Australia, you know, you, you're on the on the BBC, you know, uh, first game of the uh, World Club uh, World Cup uh, challenge. So uh, it was it was one of the best tries I've scored, uh, definitely. And when Steve Mendes scored, uh, you know, to bring the to score closer back, there, there was still time for Australia to, to 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 win the game, and they've done it in the past as well. You know, they play to the last minute. So, uh, so there again, you are, you're on, on the edge, you know, your concentration, you had to make your first tattles, you know, it, it, the game wasn't over. Don't matter how many mates is left, the game's not over until the whistle goes. When the auto went, it was just a, a matter of, uh, you know, a big relief, it's a big weight, uh, when you can just stop concentrating, let your guard down, and then uh, you can pat each other on the back. But I can remember Dennis Best saying that to, to calm us all down, because we you know, some of us was really, really, really happy uh, to win. And Dennis was saying, uh, we haven't won anything yet. So just, just, you know, just calm it down, calm it down. We ended up meeting Australia back in the final. And, uh, you know, we were confident going into the final uh, because of the victory in the first round. And uh, maybe that was downfall. We just thought that, because uh, we had a good tournament and uh, we met him in the final and uh, we came off second best in the final. You know, winning Australia, you don't win them that often. And uh, to beat them on, on home, home soil, it was, uh, it was a tremendous win. And we played well that day, definitely. All the lads played, you know, dug in and played really, really well. I'm Paul Newell Love, and that was my memory lane.